Good evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, for tonight's main event. 10 rounds, middleweight action, and now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. Marvin Hagler is so alert right now. I mean, look at his focus as he makes that walk that so many fighters dread. But he makes that walk down to the ring just so very alert. Alvarez is making that final walk that separates man and warrior, soon to be in battle there in the ring. Consists of 62 wins, including 52 knockouts, and only three losses by Will Newark, Marvelous Marvin Hagler. His adversary, fighting out of the red corner, El Sapio Alvarez. All right, fellas, let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. All right, let's go. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Every fight takes on its own unique personality. And this fight looks like it's going to be a matching of wits, a technical display. Yeah, if it was a chess match, it wouldn't be a lot of knights jumping over to castles. It'd be a lot of pawns moving forward very steadily. A lot of advantages here with a speedy fighter against a fighter with low stamina. What does he have to be careful of, though? That he doesn't burn himself out. That he doesn't go out there so fast, he gets ahead of his own pace. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Halfway through this round. Alvarez is proving to be elusive. Don't let him get at What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by marvelous Marvin Hagler. Working well that time. Final 10 seconds. That's okay, that's okay. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. This round comes to an end. A round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches. I'll tell you, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, you're going to catch him. Let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body. Because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. Here we go. Round two is underway. That's a good block by Alvarez. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Hey, if you can throw them all, you may just land them all, and he does with that four-punch combination. He 
took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Keep moving, keep moving. And now that backhand, the straight left hand, scores well for him. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Now hugging on the inside. Scored well with that straight left. He's committing to the work downstairs. He puts forth a right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Oh, uh, you see him with the left of the head there? Good fighting, snapping shot by Alvarez. And the round comes to an end. Alvarez has got that accuracy, and it paid off in the last round. And round number three is underway. Marvelous his defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Well targeted left hand by Marvin Hagler. It's easy to see Marvelous Marvin Hagler's physical strength. Just look at the guy. What about his strengths overall for his skill set as a fighter? Well, he can mix it up. You know, he's a guy that's not one-dimensional. He can fight with you with what you just said, that skill set of power, of strength, physicality. But he can box real well. Matter of fact, in some ways, he's almost better boxing than he is coming forward. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Blocks that punch. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. Hands up, hands up, Jim. Flush right hand to the head. Little head hunting with the left. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Able to get rid of that one. Pace is doing good. Nice work, nice work, nice work. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work, Ricardo Alvarez. Is Go out there. Go out and fight this guy. You understand what I'm saying? He can to this guy. Keep circling. Don't stand in front of him. Jab, jab, and throw. Throw to the body, then to the head, then finish to the body. is off to a really good start tonight. This is the first time we look at Teddy's scorecard, and you can see that he has it a clean sweep through three rounds. Not an accurate hook at all. 
Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then, go, oh no, actually I would say a little counter punching would be Focus. just what the doctor Focus. ordered. That's a better prescription for him. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by marvelous That's Marvin Hagler. And he engages in the clinch. Nice strike after catching one by Alvarez. Marvelous is making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Ninety seconds to go in round number four. Hits him in the mug with the right. That's a razor sharp uppercut by Alvarez. Let the fist go. Let him go. Committing now to the left hand. Good straight shot. Alvarez is doing well here with that two-punch combination. The left hand coming into play by Alvarez. Alvarez is really doing a fine job here, Teddy. I know everybody falls in love with the clean, effective punching, but you can make an argument that he's controlling this fight right now thanks to his head movement. Yeah, you know, it makes me think about that legendary story about the old great Willie Pep, the will of the wisp. There was a legend that he actually won a round without throwing a punch just by making his opponent miss, just by ring generalship. You're making it hard for him to hit you. You just can't move around. You gotta move with your hands in there. Let them things go. Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even. Closely contested bout throughout. Watch the hook. Watch the hook. Come on. Keep moving. Keep moving. Come on. Big uppercut right on the mark. Alvarez is showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. Not able to land the headshot. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. A minute and a half to go. There's the combo to the body. Alvarez is giving us a taste of some of that athletic ability, that hand speed right there. Good combination. And his opponent, though, now is going to have to show us that he could do something to sort of, you know, adjust to this, to counter this. And that's going to be controlling range and timing because he can't match up with the physical hand speed. Dangerous left hand from Hagler. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Alvarez. Right to the body. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wisp, the old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. This round comes to an end. And Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent is pretty slick in there. Pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target, but his punch is a little wide. Needs to shorten him up. He's hurt. Get him this round. Don't look for just the punches, okay? Use your speed. Double up your punches. I want to see combo. 
halfway through the scheduled rounds here. Good shot to the head with that right hand. That is a sharp uppercut by Alvarez. Uppercut, uppercut, it's wide open. Uppercut, bitch, come on. Come on, get busted. Really on the mark with that overhand left. A stinging uppercut by Alvarez. Teddy, how did it unfold this way? I mean, two guys who are known for being tactical, smart fighters, but this has turned out to an action fight. You know, that's a great point. I think that's how it came about. One guy, each one of them, thought that they would have an edge, maybe trick the guy. You know, throw him a curveball. What they didn't expect is they were both throwing curves. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. This is some more head moving. Takes on. one but gives one. Good work by marvelous Marvin Hagler. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. Listen, you need to mix your punches up. Throw more punches to the body. Nice and relaxed. You're in control, right? Got that? You're in control. You gotta breathe, you got to breathe. All right, how you feeling out there? You know you're not winning this fight. Back to action here at the start of this round. That last round was very interesting because it was the kind of round that can turn a fight in a completely new direction. He did well. Yeah, you know, the old time saying was uh, bad start, good finish. Well, that's what he's hoping for, good finish. There, but he also gave one solid effort by marvelous Marvin Hagler. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Marvin Hagler's work rate is impressive, Teddy, but his connect percentage is not. Now, there's two reasons for it, Joe. One is his opponent. His opponent is pretty smart in there. You know, he's not just standing there saying, hey, hit me. He's moving. He's being smart defensively. The other thing is the punches are a little too wide. He needs to shorten them up a little. Marvelous Marvin with a big left hand. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work. Ricardo Alvarez is... Attaboy. Keep swinging, baby. Last 10 seconds. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. And we come to the end of the round. I need you to take the chance. You gotta take the chance. I never show signs of fatigue, but turn tired. Cause I'm a demolition and transitory triumph. This name ain't a liar. I made it to the eye of the storm. Listen, you need to move your head more. Side to side, okay? 
I want to see that head move for Do it fine. He's just beating you to the punch. That's it. You need to grow. Not been a good looking fight here as we start round number eight. Alvarez has done a good job. He's got the lead on your scorecard. However, he has gotten hit tonight. Teddy, he could use to sharpen up that defense. Yeah, well, you know what he's doing wrong? He's giving opportunities. That's a good point, Joe. He's giving opportunities to his opponent because he's covering up, putting those earmuffs on too much. And when he does that, he handcuffs himself and his opponent's taking advantage. Unable to land clean by Marvin Hagler. for him himself, and it's a left hand. Alvarez's in, work on, in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Hagler's throwing lots of punches, and not many are landing. But what's that old saying, hey, you put enough out there, something's going to stick? Well, at least he's controlling the rhythm. He's keeping control of the pace right now. And at least when you're throwing your opponent, for the most part, he's being handcuffed a little bit. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Big shot. Oh, and he goes down. First knockdown tonight. So he goes down for the first time, but you can just get a sense that he's going to be okay. It doesn't look like he's that damaged. No, exactly, Joe. That was just a brush fire. But he doesn't want it to become a forest fire. So he's got to think in his head, why did I get caught? Solid left hand to the head. Alvarez is starting to bleed from the nose. His corner should be wary of that. momentum back. He gave it away in that last round when he was knocked down. Well, he got a little pit stop in the corner, so now he's got to be like that race car driver coming out of the pit. You know, you come out of there cautiously. Don't get hit with anything as you're coming out. You know, don't cross those lanes too quick, and then get back into the flow. Really frustrating his opponent now. Alvarez is so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Pace yourself. Pace yourself. You're doing good. Good step back. Counter punch there. Beautiful. 90 seconds into the ninth round. Uppercut. Uppercut is Very wild. nice Uppercut work to the head. The right hand landed. Focus. Focus. Hagler's jab lands well. To the head he goes with a left hand. Able to lock in that target and bring it home well. One or two more of those, it'll be the end of the night. He just missed that shot up top. You need to block him. 
See him trying to cut down that tree with a well-placed right hand. Alvarez is showing that he has an understanding about balance, about angles, about footwork. What does his opponent need to understand to deal with? Well, he has to figure out a way to take the air out of those tires. Give him a couple flats. That's what he's got to do. And there's no better way to give a guy a flat than to go to that body. All right, last round, okay? You have this one. No need to get careless. Don't get caught. Jab your way, okay? Whatever you do, throw that jab. Put forth a good effort throughout. Now one more meeting. The final round is here. Shake it off. Shake it off. It's all right. It's all right. away from that punch. Alvarez is able to land a nice, clean left hand. Hagler's got to do more than this. I mean, you can't just sit there stationary and expect the night to go your way. This fight is going opposite of how he needs it to go right now. Well, maybe it's not, Joe. Maybe he's given up already. You know, it's all about what's going on in the mind of a fighter. Maybe he's given in, and this is his way, believe it or not, of getting the refs to stop this fight. All right, here we go. Last 60 seconds of the fight. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Targeting that straight left hand. Hagler's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. That was a dominating performance tonight. Yeah, this is one you would think there's no drama in the reading of the scorecards. Let's hear those scorecards and send it up to the ring. work tonight was well rewarded. A unanimous decision win. Teddy, you saw it all along. It was easy, and he saw it all along. That's the thing. He saw the punches coming all night long. He was good defensively, and he was good with that left hand. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us ringside.